for some positive integers p, there is a quadrilateral a, b, c, d with positive integer side lengths, perimeter p, right angles at b and c, a, b equal 2, and c, d equal to a, d. How many different values of p that are less than 2015 are possible? So first I'm just going to draw this picture. So quadrilateral a, b, c, d, have that be a, b, go down like that. So this is going to be a, b, c, and then d. So a, b is equal to 2. And then uh, right angles here. And as well, c, d is equal to a, d. So what I'm going to do first, and actually also, so just so we remember, perimeter is equal to p. So first I'm going to drop this side down. And let's just call that x. And so now this is 2. And I'm going to call this ad, we'll call that y. And so this side length is going to be y minus 2. Because dc is equal to ad. Okay, so now I want to just make an equation. So since this is a right triangle, it's going to be true that x squared plus y minus 2 squared is equal to y squared. Expanding that out, we're going to get x squared plus y squared minus 4y plus 4 equals y squared. And so just getting x on one side, x squared is going to be equal to 4y minus 4. So x squared equals 4 times y minus 4. 1. So another way of putting it, um, x is equal to 2 root y minus 1. And if we wanted to get an equation for y, we just rearrange some things. So we get y equals x squared over 4 plus 1. So it can be written that y is just one more than a perfect square. So this can be written as a perfect square, x squared over 2 squared. So that's a perfect square, and then plus 1. So now let's look at our, now that we have expressions for x and y, I want to look at the perimeter. So the perimeter of the quadrilateral is going to be 2 plus x plus 2y. And so I'm going to substitute in for x. So we got this expression for x. So that's going to be 2 plus 2 root y minus 1 plus 2y. So we need to make sure this is less than 2015. So first, just looking at the values that y can be. So first we'll start off. Um, if x is just equal to, um, let's say, x is equal to, um, sorry, this should actually be a small error here. This should just be x. So if x is equal to 2, then y is going to be equal to 1 squared plus 1, which equals 2, so that checks out. And I'm going to keep going. So if x then, here's where x equals 2. If x equals 4, y is then going to be equal to 2 squared plus 1, which equals 5. And the reason why these are checking out is when I plug these values in to the equation up here, the perimeter is still going to be less than 2015. So I'm going to keep doing this until we consider when x is equal to 62. So in that case, y is going to be equal to 31 squared plus 1. So 31 squared plus 1 is equal to 962. And so when we plug in 962 up there, we're going to get 2 plus 2 times square root of 961 plus 2 times 962. 
And so doing that out, we get 1986. So that works. Now considering the case where x is equal to 64. So y is going to be equal to 32 squared plus 1. And so that is 1,025. However, when we plug 1,025 in there for y, we're going to get 2 plus 64 plus 2 times 1,025. And already this is, that's equal to 2,050, which is already bigger than 2015. So that's going to be bigger than 2015. And that's going to be the first, um, the first time when it, the perimeter goes over 2015. So all of these y values are going to work. So therefore, there's, this is the first, the second possibility for the perimeter, perimeter, and then all the way to the 31st possibility for the perimeter. So there are 31 possibilities for P, so the answer is choice B, 31.